All right, we're going to start out by stripping the wire using mechanical strippers. If you go to page three of your NASA handbook, we're going to take our, uh, take our wire on step three using our mechanical strippers. I'm going to take my 20 gauge wire, place it in the 20 gauge slot. I'm going to press until it just pulls the insulation away. Then I'm going to release back leaving the insulation still on the wire. The whole key is to twist and pull to keep your strands all tightly formed. The next thing I want to do is clean the wire. I'm going to clean the wire because now I'm now going to use my solder pot to tin it. If I turn the next page, go to step one on page five, I strip the wire. Now I need to clean it and then use my solder pot to tin the wire. I'm going to clean, the, I'm going to clean my wire. I'm going to take my wire brush, lightly brush without disturbing or combing out the wires. I'm going to clean the connection. Then I'm going to immediately flux. I flux. I flux the wire in order to whoop, in order to keep the oxidation away. And then on top of the solder pot, I don't know if you can take a look at what the solder pot looks like after sitting mm -hmm. here for a few minutes. Yeah. Dross accumulates on top of the, the solder. You do not want to stick your wire into that mess. So the first thing I'm going to do is clean the dross off. I clean it, remove it, and just put it right here on the tray. And it immediately begins to form. And this may be too hot. I might have to turn it down a little bit. But I'm going to give myself a nice clean area. I'm going to take my wire that's already prepared, and I'm going to make a figure eight. Not going all the way up to the insulation, just leaving a slight gap, pulling it out. And now my wire is tin. It's tin, but however, there's still flux. There's flux, and I left myself a little half a millimeter gap, approximately fingernail, uh, fingernail width. So I don't want that wire to wick up underneath my insulation. When I'm adding the flux, ideally, I try to keep the flux from going up under the insulation. It's not always practical, but that's your goal in life. So the solder does not wick up and due to capillary effect, gets sucked up into the insulation and become very stiff and brittle. Now the wire's clean and it's tinned.